I've had this watch for about two years now and I've been wearing it non-stop. What is going on everybody, Local Watch Guy here. If you're new to the channel, I am a watch collector, enthusiast, lover of all sorts of watches and you know, it won't hurt to click that subscribe button so make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell icon to stay tuned for all the new videos and content I'll be releasing in the near future. This isn't really sort of a review for the watch, it's more of to tell you my ownership throughout, you know, two years of owning the watch. And believe me when I say this, this watch has served me, you know, nothing but good purpose, if that makes sense. I wouldn't consider this as my daily beater, but I did wear in a lot of former locations. It is extremely comfortable, very classic design. I personally do not own a lot of watches with green dials, so this to me is extremely special. And speaking of green dials, we've also noticed a trend lately in the watch world where a lot of companies are releasing watches with green dials. So I don't really know what's the big deal, but all in all, I'm not complaining because it looks really beautiful. Now, in case you can't tell, the watch has a little wear and tear, but that's completely normal because I wore this watch frequently, if I'm going to be honest. So this wouldn't be a review or some sort of like a ownership uh, review without telling you some quick specs about the watch in case you haven't seen my old video or the review about it. So obviously the watch is called the Oris Big Crown Pointer Date, which is in bronze. The watch is 40 millimeters in diameter. I believe it also comes in a smaller size, but personally for my wrist, 40 millimeters is just perfect. Now, now, Oris released this watch to mark their 80th anniversary. The top glass of the watch is sapphire, and it is domed on both sides, and it also has the AR coating on the inside of the dial. And the case back is made out of stainless steel. It's a screwed case back, you know, with a see-through mineral glass, as well as the bronze screw-in security crown. Now, if you're allergic to bronze, um, Oris does include a stainless steel buckle. In case you can't tell, the buckle is also made out of bronze. The watch is water resistant up to 50 meters and the movement is an automatic winding pointer date movement which is obviously developed by Oris so it has an in-house movement and we can't forget the power reserve of the watch, which is approximately 38 hours, but I found this watch to be quite accurate. Now, why is the watch called pointer date? In case you couldn't tell, there is a long hand on the watch. The hand with the red marker or the red tip points out the dates for the watch, and that's why it's called pointer date. So it's a pretty cool feature to see that the dates are on the dial instead of just, you know, in the middle, which is like a lot of other watches that we've seen. Now, the watch has gone through a little bit of aging, and in case you didn't know, um, bronze does go through the process of patina where it get oxidized due to the air, you know, the skin or the sweat or whatnot. So when it reacts with oxygen, the color of bronze simply changes. And that to me sort of has a cool, unique feature. A lot of people do not like that as it sort of leaves, you know, a green stain on the hand, especially with the um, Oris Holstein edition in full bronze that was released, I believe, last year. And a lot of people love that watch. A lot of people dislike that watch. I personally found it to be okay, but I'm not the biggest fan of watches in full bronze. But, you know, a bronze case with some stainless steel in the back, to me, is just fine. And, you know, I like how Oris experiments with bronze. Not a lot of um, uh, companies will use bronze as their main material. Um, the companies that I can think of at the top of my head are Panerai and Oris, and it's pretty much it. If you know any other companies that do use bronze in their watches, do let me know in the comments down below. So one of the main features I like about this watch and why I keep on wearing it, you know, very frequently is simply because of the thickness. I have a lot of thick watches and this watch just sits perfect on the wrists because of how thin it feels. And it only has a case thickness of eight millimeters. So that's quite thin to me. And I actually like that a lot. The band width is approximately 20 millimeters. And I believe it also tapers down. And the band color is sort of a brown, light brown. Although mine's has simply, you know, sort of changed color because of the wear and tear. I've been wearing it quite a lot and we have a lot of um, harsh heat and the sun is very, very harsh here in Kuwait. So, so I will expect some discoloration from the strap. So the big crown pointer date comes in two different sizes, the 40 millimeters, as well as the 36 millimeters. And whilst it isn't really the most expensive watch or the cheapest watch, believe me when I say this, it is extremely comfortable on the wrist. You'll feel the quality of the watch when you wear it. It's not one of those watches that costs above, you know, one and a half grand, but it's just has that luxurious feel. The domed sapphire crystal to me is pretty cool looking and offers quite some protection too if you're you know a little bit clumsy walking around and you bump the watch at the edge of the table and whatnot so it's a very good um, feature to add and as well as aesthetics it actually you know kind of gives it that nice extra touch to the watch let's talk about movements so if you look at the visible um, 
or see-through case back, you'll see the Aorus Caliber 754. And that's what powers the whole watch. And you'll see Aorus' signature red oscillating weight. And it just looks pretty cool. And sometimes I even wish I could wear this watch upside down. Now that I have bored you guys with the specs, let's go ahead and talk about ownership. Now, when I bought this watch, it was pretty random. I did not really expect myself to be wanting an Aorus. And as a matter of fact, this was my first ever Aorus. And after this watch, I got the Aorus, Aorus Pro Pilot X, and that was my second Aorus. And after that, I kind of stopped, and I just haven't seen any other Auruses that I've been wanting really badly. And don't get me wrong, I love every single watch that comes from Aorus, but I believe I have two watches from them, and to me, that's more than enough. But then again, there's no such thing as too many watches. Anyways, back to the story. So I walked in the store, I got the watch, and I had no clue what the watch was about. I just liked the way it looked. And as many of us, you know, we all have the right to buy a watch that simply looks good without knowing anything about it. Then I did my research, then I wore the watch, and then I saw the loom and I immediately fell in love. And in case you haven't seen my recent video, which is about the battle of the loom or the loom wars, um, you'll know how much I am sucker for good loom. So that to me was a very attractive feature of the watch. And Oris makes a lot of diver watches. Um, and it's just... For them to be adding this feature to this watch uh, particularly and you know my sudden love for thin watches also made this a very desirable watch um if i have like a random you know dinner outing and i don't know what watch to wear believe it or not i'm not gonna wear my rolex i'm gonna wear this or this big crown pointer day just simply because it has that classic vintage vibe to it and it's just to me you know it is very a very very um a formal watch in a way even though it's not it's just it feels that way so all in all i honestly really recommend this watch if you're on the market for it you know it won't hurt to try it on but other than that i have nothing but good things to say about this watch my only drawbacks to the watch is when i'm winding the watch i do hear a little bit of a squeaky sound and i'm not sure if that's normal for um the oris caliber which is in this specific watch only because i do not get that sound in the oris pro pilot x but then again you get what you pay for and i'm not bashing the movement it's just sort of a um something that i'm speculating and that I'm hearing whilst winding the watch and it does feel a little weird whilst winding the watch it does you know uh, sort of feel cheap when you wind it it's not as smooth as uh, winding a Rolex or the Aorus Pro Pilot X but all in all that's the only flaw in my personal opinion but other than that, I respect the watch, I respect the brand, as well as its history, and every single thing about it. So this brings me to the end of the video. What do you think of the Aorus Big Crown Pointer Dates? Do you think it's worth it? Would you buy one? Or do you have one? Let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. And also, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching. <laughs>